Now then, if you didn't believe the Norwegian hype already, you certainly will now. After a 49.40 swim, a 4.18 bike, and a 2.38 marathon, Christian Blumenfeld crossed the line at St. George in seven hours, 49 minutes, and 16 seconds, making him the new Ironman world champion. Now, not only was he riding a fancy new bike, he was also wearing an unreleased tri-suit from Trimtex, with all sorts of exciting tech, and we have it here to talk through. Okay, this isn't the actual tri suit, obviously, that Christian wore. Just to be clear, as much as we're fans, I'm not sure anyone actually want an athlete's tri suit after an Ironman. However, Trimtex have kindly supplied us with the exact copy with all the same tech, including these fancy bits on the shoulders. Essentially, one of Christian's spare suits. So, let's dive into it. Now, first off, this suit had a very successful Ironman World Championships, not just because of Christian. Lisa Norden took sixth wearing the same suit, as did Laura Sadow in seventh. And well, the suit that Daniel Reef used looked remarkably similar, if not identical. Now, if this is the case, this suit is already a two-time Ironman World Championship winning suit. It's not a half bad accolade, is it? But what makes this suit so special? Well, Let's go back to the start with a brief history of Trimtex. Now, for many, it may appear to be a new and up and coming brand, but they've actually been firmly established within elite sport for many years. The company was actually founded way back in 1976 by Harold Augland in his garage in Lillesand, Norway. They started producing outdoor or interior gear using unique durable fabrics before diving then into cycling clothing in 1979. By 1981, they were in supply to eight national teams and soon after we began producing race suits for the ski market. Fast forward a number of years and Trimtex has become a staple name within the ski and outdoor adventure world. And in 2011, they started to develop a full triathlon collection. And in 2018, they started working closely with the Norwegian Triathlon Federation. And boy, what a year they had. You may actually remember Kasper Storners, Christian Blumenfeld, and Gustav Eden taking first, second, and third at WTCS Bermuda, all in the Norwegian trim tech suits. And so here we are. In 2020, they threw everything at trying to make the fastest and most advanced suit ahead of the Olympic Games. You may recall seeing them doing all sorts of testing in suits ahead of the Games. The goal was to make a fast yet comfortable suit for use in the very warm and humid Tokyo conditions. You might also remember seeing them using these little things, the core body temperature devices placed on them. They essentially tried to replicate the race conditions of Tokyo whilst having seven or so of these sensors attached to each of the athletes. This was all in pursuit of better thermoregulation and cooling. Now, presumably there was a ton of fabric testing with that, thickness changes, panel changes, fit testing, and of course, Color testing. The result was that famous white tri suit worn by the Norwegians and, of course, worn to gold by Christian in the Olympic Games. I would say that's a job well done, wouldn't you? Well, they didn't stop there. Oh yeah, with the Ironman World Championships looming and the upcoming Sub 7 project that Christian is obviously part of, Trimtex took the data and innovation from that short course suit and put it into a long course suit. And here we have it. So let's run through some of, I guess, the standout details. Now, first off, it's incredibly light, like paper light. Now to achieve that, they've used state-of-the-art fabric, presumably top secret because they haven't given me much detail on that. But what I can say is it's made from a lightweight woven elastane polymer blend to really keep the weight down while still providing stability around the body. As I mentioned earlier, they have played around with different thicknesses on different parts of the, web, uh, the tri suit, and therefore the fabric and thickness of each panel has been carefully planned out. And then they've bonded those together using an advanced 
tape rather than obviously sewing it as you might traditionally do. Now obviously the big factor to be considered with a long course suit is its aerodynamic properties. This suit needs to be fast. So welcome the Turbulators. Turbulators. Sounds pretty mean and fast, doesn't it? Anyway, these are these little dots that you can see across the shoulders. And they're essentially there to positively affect airflow around the body and ultimately reduce drag. A bit like a golf ball with all the dimples. Now they've spent a lot of time in the wind tunnel on Eindhoven perfecting this along with the shaping and spacing of the ridges that you can see that are built into the fabric of the suit. Now interestingly, you can actually see the spacing of those changes and actually increases as you move down the back, presumably for improved aerodynamics. Now in addition, there's actually a neat pocket across the back, which is one single pocket connected through the middle with two openings on either side. We then also have a nice slimline gripper, which is incredibly thin and lightweight on the thigh. And then also we've got a very thin and lightweight chamois, but hopefully obviously does a good job for Ironman distance. And then we have the zipper, which is a full length zipper. It actually only unlocks and can zip down if you flick the zipper up and pull, otherwise it locks in place. And then I thought this was quite cool, is they've got a very thin bit of neoprene running down the inside of the zipper, and that is obviously to reduce any rubbing or chafing that you may get from a zip, which does quite often happen on a long course race. So a really nice touch. So it's pretty cool, isn't it? Now we are obviously very, very lucky to have this in our possession. And I think this is gonna take very much prior place in our set on the wall. And perhaps maybe it could be our, our super suit that we pull out if we really need a helping hand. Maybe my, my next race against James or Cy Richardson maybe from GCN. Well, guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video and um, found this suit quite interesting because I certainly have. Um, I have a bit of a triathlon nerd, but I mean, this just won the Ironman World Championships. How cool is that? If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget you can subscribe to the channel for more content.